Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to clear up some storage on your iPhone. So follow these few steps. First, we're gonna open settings and under settings, we wanna find out where the storage is being used. So we're gonna go to general and you'll see iPhone storage. Now these are what's physically on this iPhone storage. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone and I'm gonna show you how to delete what's on there. For iCloud, it's a different process. Let me show you that for a second. I'm just going back here. For iCloud, click your name here on top and then click iCloud, and this is where it shows you your iCloud storage. Again, a totally different process. Here is 40 out of 50 gigs. I have an upgraded iCloud storage, so managing storage is how you take care of iCloud storage. I have a complete video on iCloud storage, and as you could see, I've already moved my photos here, but this video is all about phone storage. There's a link in the description to the free up iCloud storage if that's what you were looking for. Again, they are separate things. So let me go back to settings here again, general, and I'm gonna go to iPhone storage. This is what's physically on my iPhone. And as you notice, photo is not one of them. At least it's not that big, it's two gigabytes. The rest of them, the 30 some other gigabytes of photos and video, I took care of with the iCloud option, meaning I moved them to the iCloud storage and it took it off from my phone. So you could check out the video on that. Let me show you how to delete stuff on your physical iPhone. As you could see, it's gonna give you some recommendations here. So I'm gonna say show all, and let's take a look. It says delete old messages. That will free up nine gigabytes. Those are messages over a year old. Text messages, offload unused apps. So some apps you don't really use. So about four gigs there. Review large attachments. You could press review and see some of the attachments that were sent. Again, these will save up a lot of storage here. And then on top of that, on the bottom, look at Fortnite, for example, two and a half gigs. Podcast, over 10 gigs. And some of my other apps here take up quite a bit of space. So I could go through this and delete everything I need to. So for example, let me go ahead and delete the Fortnite app. Or I could just offload the app so I could leave my data. But if I no longer need it, I'm going to delete it. If I need it, I'm going to offload it. It's still going to save me some space. Auto delete old conversations here. I could just press enable, auto delete old conversations. This will save me a lot of space there. And as you could see, it's already down to 59.7 gigs used. So I already did free up a couple of gigs of space. So your best bet is go through all these suggestions, see which one makes the most sense to delete. And to make this issue not be an issue in the future here, let me show you a couple of things that you need to do. Go back to your settings here and jump into messages. Under messages, you could scroll down to message history and keep messages. You could click that and change this to one year. So by changing this, you will delete old messages. You will permanently delete all text messages and attachments on this device more than a year old. Press delete and that will take care of a huge chunk of old messages that are taking up a lot of space. So that's one option here. Another option is to find photos here under settings, click photos. And as you can see here, I have iCloud photos turned on. So everything's going automatically to iCloud and not my phone. Optimize iPhone storage, that's what I have here. So this is what I told you about the other video that I have on iCloud. So make sure you go through this option of using iCloud if you have an upgraded iCloud option and you wanna get these things off your phone. And the last thing is if you have issues with podcasts taking up a lot of space like I do, come to the podcast tab and then over here, delete every played podcast, you could go ahead and turn that on. So it actually deletes everything that you play after 24 hours and doesn't keep it forever. So now let me come back over here, jump into general and then go back to phone settings. As you could see, 10 gigs alone were deleted here by auto deleting my old messages. And again, if you press enable here, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna change the setting for the future. So you still have to go through that message setting I just showed you to turn it off. And here, if you enable unused apps, nothing's gonna happen. You still have to physically delete the apps one at a time here and then press delete app delete app, and then it will actually be taken off your iPhone. So if I refresh here, I should gain another two gigabytes by deleting that app that was taking a couple of gigabytes here. And there you go. So again, delete as much space as you need to using these settings on this page. And if photos is what's taking up the most amount of space, I recommend the iCloud option, or there's an app called Google Photo that you could check out that also does this for you. I hope you found this video useful and you could empty some storage on your iPhone. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.